Hey, what's going on everybody? So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Jetta Patrol Stormtrooper from Rogue One. Pretty excited for this figure. I think it looks amazing. And just looking at it in the box, I think they may have made this helmet just a wee bit bigger. If you compare it to the Mandalorian Stormtrooper, this one looks a little bit bigger and I think the proportions are much, much better. And as you can see, it comes in the Galaxy packaging. Nice big window. You can see the trooper. Love this orange pauldron. You have a DLT-19 blaster rifle. Love that. You got a backpack, an antenna, some great accessories in there. You got Star Wars The Black Series up top, Rogue One A Star Wars Story, and Stormtrooper Jetta Patrol at the bottom. On this side of the box, the front window wraps around, and you've got Star Wars The Black Series down there. And on the side with the artwork, you have a great looking picture of this trooper. Got a little shot of Jetta with a Star Destroyer up there, and this... <laughs> This color is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. There's a small window on the top of the box. On the bottom, you have the barcode and all this crap that no one ever reads. And on the back, you have the same picture as the side. You got a short bio in five different languages. The Jetta Patrol Trooper is number nine in this little Rogue One wave. And then you have some more stuff that no one ever reads. I'm going to get the Jetta Patrol Stormtrooper open and let's take a look at him. All right, so here is the Jetta Patrol Stormtrooper out of the box. And <laughs> this is... This is probably one of the best Stormtroopers they've ever done. And I'm going to go ahead and just mention right off the bat that this helmet is a little bit bigger than the Mandalorian Stormtrooper. You can see it's a, just a hair taller. It's not as flat on the top. It's a little rounder. And I think it just makes the overall proportions of this figure so much better. I mean, there's, a, there's just enough difference. And if you compare it to the Incinerator Trooper, this one has this same helmet, right? It's a little bit bigger than the Mandalorian Trooper. And like I said, I think it really makes the proportions better. The plain old Mandalorian Stormtrooper is a great figure, but uh, this it, I've always thought this helmet's just a little small. But let's just take a little bit closer look at this one. So, I mean, the paint on this one is very clean. I love all this in here. It just looks so good. The, um, the eyes are a little bit flat, which is fine with me. I don't care. The black line going across is very clean. Nice silver on the mouth grill. Doesn't look like they missed anywhere. I mean, from what I can tell. Great detail in here. Silver looks nice. This side, very good. And that's what the back looks like. Yeah, I mean, this is a really, really good looking trooper. This pauldron is fantastic. I love how they do the little stress marks on the material. You know, like the strap or the snap there. Looks really good. Great wrinkles. Some pretty good detail all around the neck. Now this is a totally separate piece and it does flop around, but once you get the backpack on, it does stay. But uh, yeah, totally separate piece. It's kind of just held on by this little, this little ring of plastic under there. So it, it does move. Yeah, that's what the back looks like. Yeah, cool pauldron. And from the neck down, it is a stormtrooper. I'm not gonna go into too much detail. The only thing that they left out on this one is the little black dots here on his belly. They are gone there. I don't know why they did that. Um, but yeah, that's really the only difference. Now the thermal detonator in the back, you can see on the Mando Stormtrooper, it is painted gray on the bottom. This one has no paint, and I guess they figure that you're gonna have the backpack on. You're not gonna see it anyway, so that is another difference. But apart from that, pretty much the exact same figure from the neck down. So really, the helmet is the only thing new on the body. If you compare it to this one, and of course the pauldron, but man, overall, this is a good looking stormtrooper. And as far as articulation, it's gonna move exactly the same. This pauldron really doesn't get in the way too much of, of head movement, except maybe down, but he can look up really well. Still has some good side to side of the neck, some front and back of the neck. The tilt is still there. Side to side, of course, is still there. So yeah, this pauldron really doesn't affect too much as far as head movement. And just like the other one, the shoulder pads are on a little ring, so they just flex up and the arms get up that far. If you want to rotate them around, you can grab the shoulder pad and just rotate the whole thing around. It all moves together, which is pretty nice. And of course, this trooper has some really, really good butterfly joints. Yeah, they did well there. Great elbows on this trooper. Still have the elbow swivel, still have the wrist swivel. You got an up and down hinge on the right. The left has the side to side. And of course, from the waist down, it's the same. I mean, you still have that. Still have some pretty good crunch and back. Pretty good side to side. And of course, the legs are the same. You know, the swivel, if you rotate them out, they go up, you know, pretty much to 90 before the thigh armor starts to run into the belt. Single knees, yes, they get up that far. 
and feet go down that far. They go up just to there, and of course you have the swivel at the ankle. All right, so next let's get into accessories. So this is the DLT-19 Blaster Rifle. It is all one color. It's a great sculpt though. I mean, this is a really cool weapon. We've seen it on a few figures before. I'm, I'm glad they included a heavy blaster with this guy. But yeah, pretty cool weapon. It's pretty much the same on both sides. No paint anywhere, but I do like it. And there's a good look at his backpack. This is a killer sculpt. I mean, this is really, really nice. I have no idea what these are, but they look cool. The bags, all the texturing on the bags down here are really, really just well done. Got some little straps here, little buckles. It would have been nice if they would have painted some of the buckles, but, you know, it's fine. It's, it's okay, but the sculpt is beautiful. Got a little bit of thing going on there. They made, like, what's supposed to be the metal frame of the backpack. That's pretty cool. Silver there. Very nice touch, and just a little touch of yellow there. I mean, it's a cool-looking backpack, and they made this look like fabric, you know? It's just... Yeah, very nice. And you can see they made just slight cutouts there to sort of match up with the back of his armor. So that's pretty neat. And there's a cutout down here for his little thermal detonator to sit in. And there's the antenna that snaps in right there. Not much to it. It's just gray plastic. It's pretty long. This just has a little peg and that just goes in right there. Pretty tight fits. Not just going to fall out. And that's what that looks like on. Got some little nubbins sculpted in there. Two little antennas sticking up, and that looks pretty cool. But yeah, the paint in here on the front is so nice. I am so glad that they did that. This is a really, really neat looking backpack. And as far as putting this on him, you can just put his arms through there, just like if we were putting on a backpack, and just kind of work it through. Not too bad, yeah, pretty straightforward. And of course, this strap has to go above the pauldron. It can't go under because of the little strap underneath and just the shape of it. I don't think it would sit right, so... It's going to go there, you know, above the pauldron, and that's what it looks like on, and that looks absolutely fantastic. And you can see how the thermal detonator sits in that little cutout in the bottom, and I really can't tell if the little, <laughs> if the notches have engaged the back of his armor, you know, where it's cut out. It's impossible to tell, but I'm assuming it's in there, but uh, yeah, that fits in there real nice. Now, this backpack is a little chunky. It's got some weight to it, so it does add a little bit of back weight. So you might have to tip him forward just a little bit to get him to stand up. There, yeah, you just tip him forward just a touch, and he stands up pretty well. All right, so now that we have his backpack on, let's put his rifle in his hand. And the fingers are really tight, but it does go in pretty well. The trigger finger is right at the trigger, right where it should be. And he holds that very well in one hand. There is no chance of that falling out, and that looks nice. And as far as getting it in two hands, it works really well. And I think that looks great. Him just kind of firing low from the hip. And you could get it up a little bit higher too. The strap of the backpack kind of gets in the way of the stock, but you can get it up a little bit higher. And I think that looks pretty good too. And just at a relaxed stance, that looks really nice. And that's what he looks like on the shelf. So he is about the same height as some of the other troopers. He's a little bit taller than that Cassian. And there's Bodhi, so he's taller than Bodhi. And of course, K2 towers over everyone. Jin, of course, is much, much shorter. But he looks fantastic on the shelf next to these other troopers. That is a good-looking stormtrooper. I am so happy with this one. So yeah, this is one of the best stormtroopers they've done. I think. I mean, the, the, from top to bottom. This is a good-looking trooper. I love the pauldron. So happy to have an orange pauldron stormtrooper in my collection. The detail on the backpack is fantastic. Front and back. You know, even back here with the little metal, you know, what's supposed to be the metal frame of the backpack. All this looks like, like cloth. Still have no idea what these are. These pouches down here look great. This is cool. I think the antenna's pretty sweet. I mean, it's tall. And of course, the Stormtrooper body is so good. And I'm so glad that they adjusted the helmet, you know, just like they are. I'm pretty sure the artillery trooper has the same helmet as uh, this one and the incinerator trooper. You know, don't get me wrong, the Mandalorian stormtrooper is a great figure, but the tiny helmet just kind of makes him look a little off, just a little bit. So I'm so glad that they went with this helmet on this guy. The proportions are so good. Rifle looks good, the armor looks good. Yeah, everything about this figure is so good. I have no complaints about this at all. But please comment below. I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think of the Jetta Patrol Stormtrooper. 
And if you like videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and please turn on notifications. I would certainly appreciate it, and I just thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see y'all next time.